Welcome Libra to your January bonus love reading. We are going to get into your past, present, and future. See what the challenges are and why all this is happening. I am going to pull advice from Spirit towards the end of the reading and other cards along the way. Okay, the High Priestess can represent secrets or something being hidden. The Five of Swords could uh, be a lot of things. Wow, we have a lot of fives here. Okay, and the Chariot. Two fives. Fives represent change. Bottom of the deck. Um, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Temperance, and the Nine of Swords. So the Five of Swords represents tension, conflict, irritability, um, somebody wanting to be right, okay? And then the it could also be manipulation, mind games. We also have the Five of Wands energy, which is a lot of conflict or fighting, disagreements or an indifference. This also can be somebody like wanting to make amends. But with the chariot in the reverse, it's more a feeling like things are stagnant at this time. There's um, a feeling of no direction or feeling like things are going in the wrong direction, but it's an energy of feeling stuck. Okay. Okay. We have the queen of wands coming in your energy, the hermit and the sun, the lovers. The Hierophant, Page of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Justice card. Definitely a big choice here. Ooh, someone could have gave you mixed signals um, or feeling that they're a bit unstable, not following through in some way, lacking. And I do see that there is an energy where something may be ending or there's a need for change or changes coming in because we do have as the overall energy is the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords feels like a big betrayal. It's like a painful ending here and that's what that represents. And um, I feel like there may be somebody holding secrets or kept a lot of things from you. And I feel with the sun and the challenge is that the sun is the most happiest card in the deck, but it's the sun is basically saying there's more darkness than light. Okay, and that's the challenge here. There's more sad times than good times, more like uh, obstacles and, um, you know, lots of delays. What the lovers is in the past. So there could be making a choice or the lovers does represent like a romantic partnership. Like there's a very close bond between you guys. And it also can represent choices of higher commitment um, or choice to, or should I stay or should I go? Okay. The Hierophant is coming in into your person's inner uh, mind, whoever this may be. We're going to clarify all of this. And then with the Page of Cups, there is a message that, an emotional message coming in. And then something with the Seven of Pentacles, which is involving investing um, into a connection or nurturing a connection or putting time and effort. But then we have the Justice. This is doing right by you. Okay, so... Let's jump into your reading. You're coming up as the Queen of Wands energy, which is feeling very confident and secure within yourself, uh, feeling attractive, even though you may not feel that way at times, but that's how you're coming up in the reading. Um, very beautiful energy you are carrying. This is a person who's very motivated and really nothing will, like nothing can keep this Queen of Wands down for too long. What is this hermit? Something you're seeing clear. Hmm, there could be a breakup or a separation or a disconnect here right now because of a lot of disharmony. I feel with the Seven of Cups uh, during a withdrawal with this person, I feel there's been a lot of soul searching and there's something that, you know, feels like that you're seeing the truth. You're putting emotions aside and the illusions are ending. And I do see is that there's like, everything that felt cloudy or felt stuck is now clearing up for you here um, regarding a connection. Queen of Wands. Yeah, there was a lot of struggles within, you know, a relationship or regarding um, a connection once again. And I feel that somebody was just being dishonest or you found out some information and it kind of like shattered 
you know, either a family dynamic or, you know, some dreams here. Okay. Hmm. You're standing really strong with the strength card, but there could be a little bit of self-doubt here when it comes to an energy. Um, because the five of wands is here again, which is a lot of conflict and tension here in the challenge. It's showing that it's still present and the strength card is saying like hey there's a feeling of self-doubt or a need there's a need for strength um if when somebody comes in or speaks to you the five of pentacles is feeling a bit lonely feeling dis distant or detached from the outside world or from this connection but i feel like you you feel whole within yourself you're coming up pretty independent <laughs> and a but like again like just having it all for you like thing you're looking pretty good here but it could it's like but there could still be a feeling of you know sadness or recovering from an energy now the king of pentacles is coming up in the reverse which can be somebody who you know in the reverse like created a, or broke a lot of promises um this could be somebody who is acting uninterested right or a, a little bit reckless this person could be giving very um a lot of mixed signals and also can have their a little bit of money issues themselves but this person needs a lot of growth it's stating okay let's get the hair fan. five of swords Five of Swords. Interesting that the Five of Swords is coming up in the reverse. Someone is game is not working. I feel that somebody is realizing that there is no winners here. And now they're wanting to apologize. They're having a new found of emotion here. They're they're feeling like their heart being filled up right now they do sh it does show that they look at you as you know someone they are interested in but i feel like this person's like very much in their head and i feel like they're wanting the reason why they're so much in their head is because they want to message you like this game's not working whatever this may be this fight is not making anything better so i feel like somebody's wanting to come in but again, the only thing I'm getting, yeah, there's attention. <laughs> Somebody wants your attention. They're, it's the King of Pentacles. They're having a hard time. They're definitely stressing out over this. They're feeling very regretful. It may seem that they're not, but it looks like they are. Yeah, they're, it looks like they're wanting your attention and wanting to see where things are in a way. But um, the only thing I see with the Three of Swords is this feels like a very big breakup right it's like somebody wanting to come back from the dead with the death card and it feels like they want to revive this connection and save this connection but still like do they see the part that the that day they did wrong because yes you can say sorry and apologize but what do they sorry for what needs to change how can you grow within this connection right and be consistent because it does show that this person does break promises it does show that they show interest one day and then not interest in the next so it does show that this person does need a lot of growth and stability but definitely it looks like a message is coming through or an emotional offer or they're thinking about this but let's see what's coming up in the near future there's that message again somebody from the past is definitely thinking about you here they're reminiscing they feel that soul connection they could be think looking at your pictures or videos or however and i feel they're just very unsatisfied on how things are and it does look like a message is coming in in the near future okay like somebody is wanting to invest in this connection with the four i mean sorry with the page of pentacles let's go ahead and get the justice card we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming in the reading and they're coming up upright. It's like they want to release something with you. Um, they either want to trans, like transform this connection, end a cycle with you and start fresh and just like kind of like 
release everything and fix this rocky foundation in the relationship. Um, ooh, because it does, okay, so justice also could represent divorce. It could represent, you know, contracts, like court legal stuff too. So that could be like a very big choice. But I feel you're being true to yourself here, Libra. But this person is coming in as the King of Cups and they're coming in like really meaning what they want. Like they're, it's like they, they're, they're coming in balanced and they do tr genuinely want to work this out. But it feels like there has been so much challenges and obstacles and I feel like there's so much pain that has happened that there could be, you know, a final decision regardless about what somebody feels like or what somebody says. I feel in the end, you're being true to yourself and doing what's best for you in the long run. Wow, very intense reading. Let's see what they're not telling you here, Libra confused I don't know yeah it's like mm, they're confused I mean that's what it's saying a choice I'm trying to make a very difficult decision and it involves you you are the love of my life I feel like I'm not good enough for you I'm not ready I check on you from afar I want to work things out See what their emotions are here for you. I hide behind material things. I left when I saw you with someone else. I see life differently now. I feel the sexual tension. I don't know what you want. I don't know what comes next. You came closer than anyone. Let's get some advice from Spirit. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition. Move right through fear because the only way to get burned is to stop because you're scared. Face the challenge by being open. So there's definitely a big challenge here. Yeah, there, it's requiring a lot of strength. And to really trust yourself and be true to yourself when making a decision. When you make a promise, keep it. When you think things won't go your way, you are creating it to go poorly. One more for Libra. Don't do things to others that you don't want done to yourself. Flowery words should not be trusted. Things need to change. It's a good time to set things in motion. All right, let's get a monolo monology card and see <clears throat> what you need to hear right now as you're watching this video, what Libra needs to hear. New moon in Capricorn, step up and lead. Full moon in Gemini, embrace the flow of life. And the bottom of the deck is full moon in Cancer. Let your fears dissolve. Okay, let's end the reading with a love message. Oh, hello. We got a secret admirer going on here. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. All right. And friendship, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationships and your love life will dramatically improve. Let's get another one. We have surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. 
And then we have deep in your heart, you already know the answer, do what feels right. All right, Libra, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this message. I hope it helped. And if it brought clarity or helped in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys for your love general messages. God bless.